to Death Fitness Madrid. We have a great first workout for you here today. This is your beer gut blaster. So, if any of you guys live in Madrid, and of course if you do live in Madrid, you should definitely check out my group classes. Um, information links will be posted below for those, so take a look. But if you do live in Madrid, you know that summer is the season of everyone wanting to sit out on terraces, in plazas, on rooftops, and drink a nice cold beer. Every time I'm walking through a plaza here, it's like, it's almost compulsive. Like I see those cold beers coming out and I just want them. So, I do love cold beer now and again. The thing that I don't love about drinking beer is that sometimes I do notice a little bit of a pooch around the middle that is kind of that classic beer gut. And maybe you don't even drink beer, and that's fine. It could be caused by a lot of sugar, um, maybe ice cream is more your poison, so a lot of things will cause that fat to gather around the middle. So we're really going to work to combat that here today. We'll start off with some cardio to burn that fat, and then we're really going to work on the abs, and also something that we usually don't think about when we're thinking about those abs, the posture, okay? So somebody could have the most amazing abs in the whole world, but if they're standing like this, they're still going to have that pooch or that beer gut. So by lifting those shoulders, opening everything up, we're really going to make those abs pop. Let's crush that beer gut. If you have any concerns as far as jumping or plyometric moves, we are starting with some of those. Um, but you can always skip over that first section and take it to where we're down on the mat and just do that section, okay? So this workout is for everyone. I'll be using a ball here as a prop. You can use a cushion or like a little pillow instead, or you can also do it with nothing at all. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to start off with a nice light jog here, so staying light on the feet. And this is where we're going to start in, on that posture already. So pull the shoulders back, put the shoulder blades in your pocket or in your ass, if you don't have pockets, and just stay nice and light on the feet here. And of course remember to breathe. I should have mentioned also in that long intro that you should do this workout after drinking a beer. So probably drink like some water before, not too much of that either, but have some water available for sure. It's so nice out here right now. And into a nice jumping jack here. So nice and wide, again, still light on the feet. back into that jog. In the summer, I love doing my classes outside because the weather is really nice in the summer in Madrid. It's a little too much winter for me, mostly here, but summer is a nice season. Our next move is gonna be a little bit crazy here. We're gonna tap into those obliques a little bit. So start in on that waist. So I want you to bring the hands wide like a goal post and we're just gonna swing. So kicking the leg up to the side. And really squeezing in on that oblique. Let's go back to that jumping jack. And we're gonna end with one of my favorites, some nice quick feet here, so sit the butt low. Feet moving fast, chest open, shaking the ass. So I want to see asses shaking. In my classes, I like to go around, make sure everyone's ass is shaking. So check it out. Is it shaking? Is that too much? Woo! And relax. Okay, we're gonna take it down to the mat now. So sitting all the way back. This is where if you have a ball or a cushion, use it. Otherwise, you can do it without. So that ball is going to go at the base of the spine here. 
You're not leaning back on it though. It is a guide for how far back you can lean, okay? So we're gonna start here, legs are hip width apart, right in front, nice bend in the knees. Hands are reaching here. Posture, shoulders back, chest forward, and you're gonna give me a little tiny pulse straight forward here. So as always, leading with that chest, because it makes you look super confident. And just pulse it forward. Nice long neck here. And this is why I said you can even do it without a ball or anything. So if you don't like that ball there, put it to the side. You can even go a little lower that way. And I'm going to add a little pull back. Reach it up. So it's down. Exhale, reach. with the arms now, which helps bring that heart rate back up a little bit more, so burning some more calories, and it also challenges the stability, so you're going to feel it a little bit more in those abs. Anytime you lift the arms overhead, it brings the abs in just a little bit more, and let's go ahead and take it just to the right. So nice little pulse here, going to the right, turning that chest into it. So you're just kind of swiveling here through the waist. And let's drop it lower. If that low back is hurting out, of course you can do a little bit of a C curve in that low back. But I don't want to see the shoulders like this. That's what we're really avoiding. And let's go ahead and take it to the other side. And you might feel this a little bit in those hip flexors as well. Maybe even a little bit in the quads. Back to the bend. And we're going to take it side to side. So it's a little rock through center. So you should feel it just carving out that waist. So see what we're doing? We're getting wasted. We're getting wasted right now. This waist. And go ahead, bring it to center. Arms are overhead here. So lots of control required here. And give me three, two, one. I want you to grab that ball or that cushion or nothing at all. Roll it all the way back. Your legs are bent. We're going to exhale. Reach it up. Bring it down. Let's go for two more. Here's two. And one. And go ahead, bring it all the way back down. So lying flat here. Toes together, knees together, squeezing everything in. I want you to touch the toes down. Reach those arms over the head. Back is pressing flat here. So you're making an imprint in that mat. All you're going to do on the exhale is curl the legs up. Reach that ball through the feet. So it's an inhale down. Exhale, reach. It's a double crunch. So tailbone is lifting up, shoulders are lifting up as well. And let's go for just four more here. There's four. Three. Two. And one. Oh, you bring the legs straight. Bring that ball right between. We're going to reach everything long. Exhale, bring it up. Pass that ball. So toes are pointed, legs long, arms long, shoulders stay lifted. Ted, you're looking straight ahead here. So don't try to look up at the beautiful sky or ceiling, which probably isn't as beautiful. But don't try to look up at it because it's going to strain the neck. And you can rest 
the head down if you need to. Or you can even bend the knees. So this is giving you a modification. So similar to that first move in this series. Two more here. Here's one. And two. And go ahead, just bring it back one once more. So that ball between the legs. Rest it all the way down. We're just gonna twist the hips. So it's a little twist. Twist, twist, twist. Good for inner and outer thighs as well here. And keep those legs lifted high. You can bend the knees if you need to. But keep twisting for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna adjust that ball a little bit. And then I'm gonna lift up my shoulders here. You can again leave them down if you want. I'm gonna lift up though and go for a double leg lift. So it's inhale down, exhale lift. Again, looking straight ahead. And this is the finale here. So we've made it to the finale. Of course, you could repeat this video or do one of my other ones. But it's still the finale of this one. This, this set of it, anyway. And one more here. And I want you to hold it up here. Arms by sides, keep squeezing on that ball. Just squeeze, 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 keep squeezing. Drop it lower. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep that back press flat here. So imagine you're sliding into your tightest fitting pair of jeans. Suck everything in. It's gonna engage the abs so much more here. And go ahead, bring it back up again. Squeeze here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab that ball. Legs long. And inhale, exhale. Let's roll all the way up. Sit tall. Put that ball or cushion or nothing out off to the side. Give yourself a pat on the back. We made it through this one. And uh, yeah, if you're feeling like rewarding yourself with a beer or ice cream or whatever it is that you want to reward yourself with, do it. Do it in moderation, of course. And make sure, if you are drinking beer, that you can legally drink beer. That's an important thing. Um, but enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next workout. Bye.